Look at your forecast. Really, most of tomorrow is going to be a dry day. It'll be late in the afternoon, early evening when the rain begins to move in. So I've got a very low chance at 6 o'clock. It'll be tomorrow night, though, that the rain chances spike to 100%. Rest of tonight, nothing going on, mostly clear skies. Tomorrow, some sunshine early, then clouds start to move in. Then as we get into tomorrow night, just a very low chance for sprinkle before sunset. It's really going to be after sunset that the rain moves in. Rain will be heavy at times as we get into the early morning hours on Saturday. So I'd say between sunrise Saturday and around 11 a.m. or noon is going to be a soaking period of time here. And then as we get into tomorrow afternoon, there might be a brief break for a couple hours, but a last little round of some light rain likely in the mid-afternoon hours. We'll be done though by sunset and skies will clear out for Sunday. Sunday will be a salvageable outdoor day. All right, total rainfall, it looks like at least an inch in almost all areas. Some locations could pick up more than two inches of rain. We'll have this one system moving in as we get into late tomorrow and Saturday and then another system coming in Wednesday into Thursday of next week. All right, high temperatures are going to be a little bit below normal until we get into next week. We'll gradually get back up into the 60s. Weather right now looks pretty good for the kickers game, all things considered. Should get rid of the rain and we'll just have decreasing clouds and a little bit on the cool side. But uh, I'm sure the Red Army will be in full force and they'll have lots of company as well. I expect a huge crowd Saturday night out of City Stadium. All right, there we go. A little breezy in the wake of this system Saturday night into Sunday. There'll be some coastal flooding as well. And then pretty quiet next week until the system by Wednesday and Thursday.